Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Freestyle Freddy with Freestyle Living Services and today I'm gonna to be showing you all about my gear. I'm just gonna walk right through it. I'm not gonna really go too much in depth about everything. I just wanna show you what I'm using to get these great images and high quality with my flash. So then that way, if you guys are looking to achieve this, you can follow my channel and I can walk you through every step by step. So then that way, you guys get great pictures just like I do. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I'm using is my Canon M50 body. Great body, not too expensive. I'll put the link down below so then that way you guys can order one too. For my lens, I'm actually using the Sigma 18-35 1.8. That link will be down below as well. It's a great lens all around for video and photography. So then that way, if you're wondering, do I need more lenses for video and photography? No, you can use this for both. Just look it up, it's great, but let's go ahead and keep going through the gear. My next part, the next thing that I use is my adapter. So without the adapter, I can't connect my Sigma to my Canon M50. And I'm just gonna go ahead and show you a quick demonstration of how I do that with this little thing right here. Um, so basically what I do is I get my Canon M50, I pop off the seal, I grab the attachment, I put it on right here, boom, locked in just like a lens. But the thing is, the lens is gonna go right on top of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab my lens, pop off the cap on the back, boom. And now that attachment is gonna let me put the big lenses on this little camera. So there you go. That's why you need the attachment. Without the attachment, you're not able to create this camera right here that I have in my hand. So let's continue on to my flash kit. So the flash kit that I'm using right now is the YN563. It's the young new. So this is a, Something I started off with because it was very great in my price range, not too expensive. And you get two flashes and you get the flash controller. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and leave that link down below as well. I'm gonna show you how to put that little flash controller on top of your camera. So how it works is once you have your camera all built, you just put this little controller right on top like that and you tighten it up and it's all ready to go. So it's not just gonna work automatically, so I'm gonna go ahead and make an in-depth video of um, how to get this camera um, communicating with this little trigger, so then that way it works. Um, so let's continue. What I use with these flashes is a diffuser, and I'm gonna, I use the simple umbrella diffuser. So I shoot through the umbrella, right through here, just like that, and I'm gonna show you how I do that. Right now, <clears throat> I actually upgraded. I'm using this MagMog system that lets me put my flashes directly onto it. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I do that. I recommend this if you can afford it, but this little thing is pretty expensive. And there's a better way to do this rather than spending, I think, almost like 200 to 100 bucks on this. Um, it's the same thing, it just takes a little bit longer to set up. Um, I used it in the beginning, there's nothing wrong with it, so I recommend it. If you're on a budget, use it. I'll put the link of that um, little attachment down below as well, so then that way you can um, see. So then that way you have the option of something cheaper. Not cheap, but less expensive. And how it works, um, I'll go more in depth. It's just like a two, uh, a two mount flash trigger. Basically how your camera has a mount for the flash trigger here. Um, it's basically a system that connects two flashes on there and it's able to let you shoot um, two flashes at the same time. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you real quick how I connect my flashes to that MagMod system. So right now my flash kit doesn't have the MagMod magnets. This is something you will need to buy. These are $25 each, and you just slap them on the top just like this. You just pull it really hard, it's gonna be a little tight. Be careful with your fingers. Don't let it get you. Once it if it does, it's gonna hurt, but just be careful. See, so this one's on there, and I'm gonna do my second one really fast, so then that way I can show you the connection. All right. All right, I didn't put it on there perfectly, but hey, it's okay. So this one has it now too. So the reason why I love this little thing here is because I'm not wasting time having to put these on there. I can just, it's magnetic. So it goes right on, and then you put the other one on, and you just go magnetic. Boom. Ah! Almost dropped it. So you go magnetic. Ah! Why is it not connecting? Oh, it's probably, oh, I see why. I put a little ledge right here. Let's fix that. Okay, so let's put that back on. There you go. On there, you lock it in, and this is my system right here. So I love this, because then I shoot this. I shoot these flashes 
through my umbrella just like that. And it even has a little hole to tie it in. So what I do on the field is I unscrew this little piece right here, this little guy, and I put it in there. And then I shoot just like that. The reason why I use two lenses, I mean two flash kits, is because it gives me more power and um, the, when it's really sunny outside, the more power you got, the better it's gonna help with, um, it's gonna help overpower the sun. Um, so that's my kit. I use a regular uh, tripod for my flash. So this little guy right here, obviously goes on top of that, right there, locks in just like this. And that's basically all I need for a photo shoot. I'll show you some examples of what that looks like and what quality I get. And if it's something you're interested in, I'll go more in depth on all the gear and actually everything that's going on. So thank you guys for watching. That's my gear review. You guys stay blessed. Don't stress. Don't worry about the steps. Have faith in Jesus. Peace.